I'm, uh, I'm honored, actually, to be here in this esteemed group. It's my first visit to the campus. I could never have been admitted here. I first met Dave Cody in February of 2002 as a Honeywell board member. And we were a fractured company without a leader. Earlier, we had endured a merger with Allied Signal, which was poorly handled. We were bought by GE, but after an 18 month of stagnation and insecurity, the economic European Union denied the merger. And so we asked in an emergency for a former chairman to come back in an interim position while we look for someone strong enough and smart enough to restore Honeywell's health. We found him, and he's here tonight, of one of the honorees. Dave was a perfect fit with a 20-year track record of success at GE, we have, where he held numerous positions, in, including president of the GE Appliances, and he was at the time the CEO and a strong CEO at TRW. Honeywell lacked a central vision. It was a compressed of four silo businesses, divisions, who combined only to provide a single corporate balance sheet and no other association. Dave's early vision of creating a one Honeywell, and he still talks about it today, one Honeywell, with a common core of values and ethics and a culture of continuous improvement that was a driver of the subsequent success they achieved in the marketplace. The mantra, One Honeywell, has been implemented around the globe, utilizing Six Sigma in every segment of the 131,000 employees, including 22,000 engineers and scientists, and the $40 billion company now has achieved a 400% total shareholder return. Amazing story. Most of us in business would categorize this as kind of like turning water into wine. At least, if you didn't say that, you'd have to say it was wine, it was grape juice, but it was a miraculous thing to see and watch and experience. Dave's current focus is to implement human factor designs input at the outset of starting development of any of their many products. The very outset, not the tail end, but the beginning. It's another good example of dimming thinking. I read dimming as a boy. And that's the kind of thinking that drives Honeywell, and that's why I'm sure he's here tonight. For most, as a former airline and Boeing executive myself, including experience as a Boeing pilot and an aircraft maintenance technician, I'm fully aware of Honeywell's leadership in introducing technology to today's airplanes that have made transportation safety commonplace and ordinary in our lives. Their ability to quickly bring new ideas to the marketplace with immediate dependability and reliability that lasts a lifetime of the product has made them the world's leader in safety, security, clean energy generation, energy efficiency that is now just commonplace to us all. I could talk hours about how this one man transformed Honeywell into a world-leading example. In the mid-2000s, there was a Hall of Fame jockey named Calvin Burrell, and he won the Kentucky Derby three of the four straight years and he won it on three different horses. One win was on a horse so bad that it placed at 50 to 1 odds at the gate. He took that horse to the winner's circle, was a six and three quarter length lead across the finish line, the longest lead since 1948. Honeywell was always and could be always a good horse. We just needed a world-class jockey we have him here tonight, Mr. Dave Cody. <laughs> 